In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make crucibles that can withstand up to 10,000 degrees centigrade based on carbon foam. The mixture I'm using consists of cornstarch, 50 grams, about five grams of sodium bicarbonate or bicarb of soda, and enough Elmer's school glue to create a dough-like consistency. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm measuring out the cornstarch, then I'll add the five grams of sodium bicarbonate, and then you'll see me pour in the glue, enough glue to get it to a firm dough-like consistency. It needs plenty of mixing to get it to be non-sticky and more like dough. Now crucibles are expensive. The graphite ones are quite expensive and they burn away. Similarly, the porcelain ones are quite expensive and they often crack. The aluminum oxide ones, the same thing. So I've had, I've lost a lot of crucibles in my induction heater and that's why I decided to make this video using this material. There are lots of uh, videos out there on how to make this material. And you can see me mixing it well here. Uh, lots of mixing is necessary and then lots of massaging is necessary to get it into a dough-like smooth consistency. Mix the glue in very well. After plenty of massaging, you should end up with something like this. When it's in this consistency, it can be shaped into almost anything. In my case, a crucible. Now here's what it looks like after it's been shaped and allowed to dry. So here's my my crucible that I just did by wrapping some of it around a piece of PVC pipe and filling up the end. And here's a little, um, a kind of a cookie made of it. This is after drying for about a day and a half. So it's, it's pretty hard, it's pretty solid actually. So first we'll test this to see how good it is as an insulator. Then we'll try it out in an induction heater. Here's a piece of aluminum, I'm gonna melt this. Yeah. Basically, you can melt aluminum on your hand. Now for the moment of truth, we're going to test out this uh, crucible, homemade crucible, with a large chunk of iron, which I have in there, in this induction heater that I made and have described in previous videos. So uh, I'm going to turn it on and let's see what happens. Let's see if the crucible can survive melting this piece of iron. Got some current flowing there. Here's a bit of metal. The crucible's starting to smoke like crazy. I've got a pile of molten iron for me. Okay, time to detune it and turn it off. 
before it goes crazy. Let's get it out. Mostly melted up. My crucible did not do very well. What's left of it? Just bits of uh, burnt out charcoal. So anyway, uh, folks, this is what's left of our Starlight crucible. Not a whole lot. Here's the piece of melted iron, all deformed. Some smoking carbon still remaining in this mass. So uh, the assessment overall on this is that in terms of induction heaters, you could probably get a one-time use out of the crucible and uh, the metal uh, shorted out against the uh, turns of the uh, induction heater. So I would say all in all, not that useful, but thought you'd find that interesting. And uh, please do check back for more videos and uh, please don't forget to subscribe.